did that. The festival playlist. Take it away. All right, so I will start. So first up, your overall rewards for the series are, of course, a backstage pass at 50% and another shot at the uh, Toyota AE86 Truno for 80%. Into summer, 50% gets you a brand new car. This is the Porsche 356 RSR Emery. We'll be taking a look at that in just a moment. At 80% though, you get a classic Brit of British motoring with the, with the Rover SD1. Uh, the photo challenge for summer is hashtag drive like the wind. Take a photo of any hypercar at the Moorhead Wind Farm. The farm where they make wind. <laughs> Um, yes, yeah, so in the seasonal PG games, you can get the uh, Bentley Continental Forza Edition, and the showcase remix is the Quaint Village Rush. And moving on, we've got three hard to find cars. You've got the VW Type 3 Notchback in the cult following season event, the 2011 Ford Raptor in the Bring Me a Dream, the GTS in the Down Under season event. Uh, Tom, do you want to run us through autumn? Yeah, cool, absolutely. So 50% in autumn will get you another Horizon Backstage Pass. Uh, for 80% 80, 80 you'll get the Aston Martin Vulcan AMR, uh, which is a super cool and very fast car. Uh, for the photo challenge, taking a photo of your car with the Broadway windmill in the background, hashtag milling around, will get you a super wheel spin. Um, if you want to pick up the modern race suit in red, uh, you have to do the Jumping Jeeps trial event. Uh, you can also get the BMW M5 uh, Forza Edition car in the Seasonal Playground games. Then completing uh, Di Diagon Rally uh, will get you the Toyota Celica 94. Uh, completing the Holden Your Horses uh, will get you the Holden VR Group A. And finally, there's a, a little nod to um, Horizon 3, Surfers Paradise Seasonal Championship will get you the cover car of that game, the Lamborghini uh, Centenario. Over to you, Mike. Ooh, let's take a look at winter. So another, another, count them, another backstage pass for 50% in winter, and 80% you get yourself the Aston Martin DBS from 2019. Uh, the photo challenge is hashtag going off-road. Take a photo of any off-road car. It's a simple challenge that gives you a lot of freedom in order to create a really interesting photo. Uh, tweet it out with the hashtag going off road, and then if we love it, we'll retweet it. Um, next up in the trial, you can get yourself the uh, Mercedes Benz X Class, that's in the tobogganing uh, trial event. There we go. Um, and the, uh, the Midnight Battle, another throwback to Forza Horizon 3, so it's a Midnight Battle season event, and you can get yourself the uh, Koenigsegg CC GT. Um, and I think that's it. So yeah, over to you, Tom, for spring. Cool, 50% in spring uh, will get you the 2003 Renault Clio, and 80% will get you the VW IDRR. And for the photo challenge, uh, take a photo of your car with the viaduct, hashtag train spotters. No need to have the train in that photo. Get your super wheel spin. Um, completing the trial, Fire Saga will get you the mini John Cooper Works buggy, which no, is... No a, comical pronunciations on that one? Uh, <laughs> no, no. Um, <laughs> quickly throw me now. Uh, the, the mini John Cooper Works buggy, really fun off-road car, uh, well worth uh, picking that up. Uh, you can also do the Showcase Remix, which is the Commuter Blues, which I think is in the McCann. That will get you a, a super wheel spin. Then the seasonal event, uh, Greatest Hits, will get you the Porsche 906. And we've got uh, one of our new Series 34 cars, the uh, Pontiac Firebird 68, completing Phoenix from the Ashes seasonal event. And, oh, hello, who's that? Completing the GT Phone Home, uh, it's a great <laughs> name, by the way, uh, will get you the Alien Morph suit, which, um, you know, I think we can all agree is a, a fantastic piece of clothing wear. Certainly the greatest prize available this series, so sure. uh, make sure you're there for spring and get onto the GT phone home seat. If you only do one thing this series, I think it should be that. Absolutely. I mean, I will say now, we're going to have to put a limit on you guys coming up with pun names, because you had three exquisite ones in there, and I just, I can't, I need to put a lock on one of you lot somewhere. Uh, so yeah, anyway, that is the festival playlist out of the way. But what about those new Series 34 cars we saw along the way, huh? I'm going to throw it back over to you two now in the studio to run us through the latest editions. 
All right, so uh, first up, I think we are going to take a look at the Pontiac Firebird. Before we take it out for a spin, uh, we'll just get a quick look at it in Forza Vista. Uh, I, I like that these people have uh, turned out. They're, they're celebrating the arrival of the uh, <laughs> 68 Pontiac Firebird. So. They are pumped. <laughs> look at that guy. He's <laughs> dancing away. Um, White gloves as well. Yep, yeah, so... It's in this, we've got it in this lovely burnt orange. I think if you move around, the, if you move the camera around, you can just see how it, there's a little bit of yellow in there in the paint flake, which is lovely. Uh, one of the cool things about the Firebird as well is it's got some nice upgrade parts. So if you are ever wanting to like show off big chunks of your engine while you're driving around, then you can do that. Also, other other shapes of bonnet if that's your thing. Uh, for, I think we'll leave it stock for for now, but you know, good to know that mm -hmm. those, those things are available to you if that's your bag. Um, We'll take it out for a drive, I think. Um, if you want to drive, Tom, uh, yeah. whilst I, I describe what we're looking at. So um, the Firebird really is that, that in that late 60s pony car era. Uh, so kind of, kind of led by, by the Mustang first, but then obviously the other big American manufacturers were, were racing to see what they could come up with to, to, to try, try and compete with that. So Pontiac, a, a child brand of, of GM. Um, so therefore, it's a stable mate with, uh, with Chevrolet. And so there are a lot of similarities between the Firebird and the Chevy Camaro, which came out just before it. Uh, it's got a 6.6 litre V8, an absolutely massive engine. Um, it's terrible around there. <laughs> um, Tom's just <laughs> destroying this car. Uh, so 6.6 .6 litre V8, which will get you 335 brake horsepower. Um, gets you around 6.5 seconds, not to 60. Not bad for a car in 1968. Um, Slight different, slightly different to the Camaro is it has like a much longer bonnet, which means the engine sits closer to the middle of the car. So purists will tell you it actually handles slightly better than the Camaro. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure Tom can feel that right now as he's yeah. taking it. Yeah, yeah, my thoughts exactly. Just a real, <laughs> real, real nice feel to it. Um, so top speed at stock, you get about about 124 mile per hour, which. Um, perhaps isn't that much bang for a book for a 6.6 .6 litre V8, but <laughs> I guess that's probably because it weighed about 1,600 kilos. Um, I think interesting thing about this car, though, is that it, brand new in 1968, would have set you back about $1,080, which is pretty reasonable. That's about 10-ish about ten, yeah. grand in today's money, which is uh, not bad at all. Yeah, do you, think, um, do you think if you're a high school student, you've got your Greased back pompadour hair, leather jacket. Do you think you're going to be picking this up <laughs> as a as a first drive? I, I think as a, as as we say, 335 horsepower, not to 60 in six seconds. Uh, no seat belts, no airbags, no no traction control, no ABS. I think it might have had power steering actually, but none of that other stuff. I think it's a perfect car for a 16 year old to get and their first car. And it easily yes. destroys uh, a letterbox I think my, as well. I mean, my <laughs> insurance premiums would be through the roof. The best how I've driven this now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you'll, be banned, you'll be banned from Edinburgh. <laughs> What are you think? What, what, what are you thinking? Any, any? Yeah. Would you get one of these for yourself? I think it's super cool. It's, it's, um, yeah. I'm not, not sure it's very going to be very suitable for parking on in British supermarkets, but you don't. You'd always have to take the two spaces when you I think, which is uh, <laughs> poor, poor form. What do you think, Charlie? Would you? Could God, we catch you in one of these? Terrible. Yeah, I got space in the garage for one of those. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> All right, should we take a look at the next car? Yeah, let me just uh, jump back to... Um, I'll go to a different house. Then. Okay. We should say that's Phoenix from the Flames season event in spring. spring Is that yeah. right? Yes. So you have to wait right to the end of that series in order to get your hands on the Pontiac. All right. Um, here we go. What are we looking at? Okay, so this is, uh, yeah, the, the Emery uh, Porsche 356. Um, it's, yeah, so Emery Motorsports, they're a American company that take Porsches um, and, and kind of restore them to, I think, what they call factory plus um, condition. So, um, you know, you've got a lot of extras in there. You've got an Emery Rossport flat four, uh, which is based on the 3.6 flat six in the 96, uh, which is going to do you about 400 brake horsepower, and at only around 880 kilos, that thing's going to fly off the line. Um, obviously, it's yeah, the, like pretty striking to look at, um, and I, th I think well earns its name as part of the Outlaw uh, range, which I think at the time was 
kind of raised a few eyebrows in the automotive scene, um, you know, naming anything outlaw. Um, look at that little space for your, um, your baked goods there in that air intake. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's going to keep them warm, though, because that's just the... You've got an air, an air intake you knew in the fuel exactly tank. What you might I'd want to try and there, find though. some space back here if you uh, <laughs> keep, your, keep your croissants nice and warm. Um, yeah, l real lack of storage, isn't there, in this, <laughs> in this car? It, it's it, like it has to be said, yeah. It's not, uh, it's, if you're doing a lot of um, trips to the shop, taking, going, running stuff to the tip at the weekend, this is not the car for you. Um, but, you know, that said, it is, um, it is, it is a bit of a head turner if it goes past you on the road. Um, I think we'll get to see that like, uh, oh, at a, a time when the light has seemingly disappeared. I was going to say <laughs> the, uh, the, the finish of it is quite striking as well, because it's obviously got a bit of a brushed al uh, aluminium look to it. Um, and kind of like with the exposed rivets on the, on the panels, it's, um, yeah, it's very cool. Maybe some of the Edinburgh street lights will give us a bit of a look at it. Uh, but yeah, if you are an owner, please do not put any uh, baked goods in the air intake. That will <laughs> void your warranty. Um, but yeah, Emory Motorsports was uh, started in the 40s. Uh, it's kind of run by a guy at the moment called uh, Rod Emery. Um, I think it was started by his grandfather. Um, and That's interesting. Yeah, uh, they, oh, no. we obviously have Sorry. another oh. Emery in the game. I can't recall which one we had. Uh, the... No, I can't remember. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to make. I don't want to get it wrong. So yeah, I'm, yeah. Guess. I'm, I'm sure chat will okay. tell us in a minute what it is. They'll yeah, know. Go on. Thanks, uh, chat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, like that, the exposed uh, turbo and exhaust at the back, uh, very cool. And again, um, would you say this is is one of your favourite cars, Mike? I'd say it's one of my favourite looking cars. I think, yeah. especially from especially from Chase Cam. You get that amazing view at the back there. Mm -hmm. It's really, really cool and like surprisingly nippy as well. Um, I mean, maybe it shouldn't be that surprising. It's all at 400 horsepower and 800 kilos, so yeah. it's um, similar horsepower to the Pontiac, but half the weight. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So yeah, nice and nippy. Can yeah, hand it, 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 it's pretty tight handling. Yeah, um, yeah, it can do a bit, a little bit of a drift as well. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. very nice. Yeah. Oh, I've got a skill song. I've only got nine seconds left on my skill song though, so. <laughs> <laughs> And despite looking quite unique, I, I do think it sits well in the uh, the British countryside, rousing around. Um, yeah, nice postcard car. How'd you get this one? You can get this from doing 50% uh, in summer, I want to say. I think that's correct, yes. Um, um, so yeah, you'll be able to get that from uh, Thursday next week when the um, Series 34 officially starts. At is very exciting. Yeah. Um, so which one is your favourite, Charlie? You've got the uh, the Porsche Emery Special, or you've got the Pontiac Firebird. If you had to choose, um, I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna say this one, but purely because my head has created a story where a lightsaber has chopped the back end of the car off, <laughs> and I really like that look. I've never seen anything like it before, so I'm gonna go for that one, please. And I'll send you my yeah, address the, after the stream the, for you to Emery send it over. Factory. Yeah, the, the, having the lightsabers was a key part of the construction I like the idea that they build a whole car. They build the whole thing, but there's just someone with a lightsaber at the end just going, nope, nope, on all of them. That car is it's too long. Finish. We need to get rid of the back. <laughs> it needs, needs about 5% less car here. <laughs> they had a weight goal that they needed to achieve, and, the, <laughs> and, they, and they only had 15 minutes to do it, so it was lightsaber to the back. I don't care how you do it. <laughs> Yeah, so those cars are coming to you in uh, Series 34, um, which, as I say, the update will go out early next week, and then the series starts on Thursday with summer. Excellent. Oh, I'm in spring now. We're in spring, and it's spring outside as well. Oh, well, there you go. We've had our summer, obviously. We, <laughs> we had two yesterday. days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> had that two days ago. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to snow next week as well, isn't it? So uh, it's, we oh, are really... It's, it's, it's <laughs> Four Thousand and Four's weekly changing seasons are really, really surprisingly <laughs> accurate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I could just watch you drive around here forever. It just looks really nice. Can we have a look at the the inside? Oh, of course. Sorry. Um, oh, it's a bit dark, isn't it? Um, got that massive choke there. Um, yeah, I, I guess uh, a bit light on modern. Comfort doesn't car, but doesn't um, doesn't look like there's a radio or a sat nav. 
I think um. if you're <laughs> if you're buying an Emery and you're not going to see much change from about 300 grand on this, um, I, I think you you're probably not looking for air conditioning, radio, you know, all the other things that come with cars. <laughs> that was the bit that was locked off the back. <laughs> you, you, know, you aren't car things. See you Claire in the boot. You still, you still get there. You're an art and engineering. Be beauty and speed. So it's got a few uh, custom parts on it. It's got that Momo steering wheel. Yes. Um, and matching. I don't know if we can see it in the dark. Uh, it does have Momo branded rims as well. But Which look really cool. They are very, very cool, but a little tricky mm. to see them uh, in the dark. So that's unfortunate, but we are playing on it. You could try and put it in those. I can't change the time oh, of day, should though. Have parked, put, should have parked up in front of <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> what a superb picture of the brand new car. I'm so glad you can all perfectly see this. No, I think it'll work. It's <laughs> great idea, though. Great, great content. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is photo mode. You can... <laughs> Talking of which, should we move on to the next mode? Yes. Uh, what's up next, yes, Charlie? Yes, let's do it. So oh, up be... next, I'm actually just going to get you two to mess around in Super 7, actually, because there's, there's a reason why. We'll come to that later on in the stream, but up next, let's have a bit of fun in 